the people of Lafon County are suffering, not from the same levels of violence as other parts of South Sudan, but from a severe food shortage, with many of the residents of this small eastern Equatorian community experiencing extreme hunger on a daily basis. The drought and dry spell have ruined their traditional crops such as sorghum. At this time of year, these crops would typically have already been harvested. However, heat and less rain than usual has forced local farmers to replant their crops two or three times. Some say the solution to ending hunger in the region is to encourage the cultivation of a variety of crops rather than relying on those traditionally planted. Since they, they depend on one uh, cereal crop, the, the, the hope is just very little because once it is destroyed, there is no other crop. And I was trying, I was trying to, encourage, to encourage them to plant another uh, food resistant crops here like cassava. I've been in Torit recently. Then I, I talked to people in Torit, especially the near us, they gave me okay, and now I'm waiting for them so that we begin to teach people how to adopt the new system of agricultural tools and new plant like cassava, sweet potatoes, and the rest, and, and fruit, fruit resistant also, like mangoes, lemons, and all. We want to try this all in the area here. The food shortage has affected the children of Lafon the most. At times, the schools have been forced to close because the children are too hungry to attend. However, 11 schools recently reopened following the delivery of food assistance from the World Food Program. Food security issues and low salaries have led to a lack of teachers willing to work in the area. Half of those teachers who do remain are not professionals but rather local volunteers dedicated to providing a better future for the children. The issue of hunger is discussed with pupils who are urged to help their parents on the farm. Whenever we conduct an assembly, we tell them uh, to be self-reliant sometime by cultivating their land. After the school, we uh, do an assembly, we tell them that after the school they have to go to help their foreign in, uh, in their palm so that this anger which we are currently facing will be chased away. An integrated team from the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, ONMES, visited Lafon to monitor and report on the situation and to build confidence among the community. When we interact with them, at least it builds confidence and uh, it uh, encourages them that uh, they are not alone in this situation. There are uh, people with them and especially the mission is concerned and, and is always uh, at their disposal to listen to them and also share uh, whatever concern they have with all the stakeholders. While the area is experiencing relative calm compared to other parts of South Sudan, the Lafon community says Continuing food insecurity in an unpredictable environment could incite violence and fuel conflict, putting at risk lives and hope for a better future.